Yeah, I had some messages from Lars Anderson and from a gentleman by the name of Anders, whose last name I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce. Uh, since, one, I don't actually remember it, and two, it was three or four names combined. Uh, certain naming traditions kind of stumped me, and I apologize in advance for that. Uh, they were asking about pole archery and uh, details on pole archery, of which there's really not a lot to give since it's not as complex as it sounds. You just need a really, really, really big pole, like that, um, and you need to uh, have a fork. I'll throw a picture of a fork in here. A bunch of birds on it. Blast away, or pardon me, loose away. Now, in the, the, the course of the conversation or the messages that we were exchanging, which are in public, and that was on purpose on my part, down below, I'm not actually a huge Lars Anderson fan. Uh, I enjoy watching him shoot and all of his work and stuff, but he tends to be a little on the controversial side and tends to say things that, um, yeah, they're not his references prove me wrong or often it's proved me wrong which is like that's a negative you can't prove a negative <laughs> you can only prove yourself right and in his case he can never prove himself right because none of us was there and unfortunately YouTube didn't exist 2,000 years ago or a thousand years ago or <laughs> 50 years ago Ten years, buddies. Ten years. Um, seeing is believing, and often not. In the, in the world of deep fakes, you can make anything happen nowadays, or almost anything happen. Oh. But the point of the matter is that he was seeking or trying to seek information about the origins of pole archery, the history of pole archery, what made it pole archery. And I really can't help him on that one. Uh, I don't know if anyone really can. Is it historical in a military practice? No. Uh, is it a practice of, or preparation for military practice? Um, no. Other than being a skill challenge, uh, or a, a point to prove your skill, as in a bunch of men getting together, or women, most likely men if we're talking about you know historical warfare applications for example the kill winning archers of Scotland they practice pop and go which has been practiced in kill winning for centuries 1458 is the earliest recorded instance that I can find them referring to now that's going by the kill winning website and uh, a BBC article and the interesting thing about that is that it makes reference to shooting at the kill winning abbey 100 feet up uh, quite a large bird actually much larger than what we use here um actually shaped like a bird too which ours are not ours are just pieces of dowel with feathers on them still not sure why we call them birds but eh, oh well uh because they're not shaped like birds but at any rate um it was the point of it was the reference was that the men gathered, they shot at the abbey, amongst other things, for the purpose of showing their skills. That's not a military application. That's just guys who are bored having fun. Sound a lot like all the sports? <laughs> now back then, uh, back when, you know, in the case of, of Great Britain and Scotland, and when archery was mandated, the men had to shoot at the butts. And they would do that after church just because that's a convenient time for everybody to get together and go out to the butts. Most of the things that we shoot today are based on those circumstances because they were games that men played to uh, alleviate boredom. So if you want to shoot original archery, make up a game. Because the whole point of making up the game or do something different is to show off your skills. 
and to create skills and to have fun. So, oh, there we go, hit a pin. That might have taken a bird. That was a nice shot. Too bad I wasn't trying. At any rate, and that's basically what we do here. The Robin Hood Pole Archery Club, um, last season, when we had between 25 and 30 shooters showing up, we do one hour shoots, two shoots a night. So there's two hours of shooting with minor breaks, right, where we reload the fork and stuff. So in that hour, with 25-ish to 30 shooters, we were averaging six, maybe seven shots each in an hour. So think about that. In the time of this video, I will have let loose more arrows than I would when my friends were gathered here and we would shoot six to seven arrows in an hour. So in a given night, I would shoot 12 to 14 arrows. Well, I just let less loose. This will be number 10 right now. I've just let loose 10 arrows. Watch, ten num right, number 10. And the video is probably gonna be what, seven minutes long? So the purpose of us gathering is to gather, is to have fun and visit and have some goofiness and a little bit of competition. Now, I don't really care about the competition part. I enjoy this, I enjoy the shooting, and I enjoy the fun. And I enjoy heckling my friends. And I enjoy having being heckled by my friends and visiting with my friends. It's about community. It's about being human beings. That is original pole archery. Keep having fun, guys.